And here's a picture of my little brother Pinto. Lovely. Aye. And here's one of my big brother Pogo. Ah, you look just like him. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Here's me again. Oh, nice picture, Peso. Good one, matey. And here's me, Pinto, Pogo, Piñata, Grandma Perdita, Uncle Pepe, Aunt Pepita, Cousin Petina. Yeah! There's so many of them. How do you keep track of all those relatives? Easily. I love having a big family. We all look out for each other. Captain, it's Dashi. You better come to HQ as fast as you can. There's something you need to see. We're on our way. <laughs> There's a big volcano nearby, and it looks like it's about to erupt. A volcano? But we're in the middle of the ocean. There are volcanoes even on the ocean floor, Peso. See, we're over here in the octopod, and deep down over here is the volcano. Right now, incredibly hot lava and steam are building up underneath. Soon, it'll erupt. And all that hot lava will come bursting up and out into the water. Wow, that looks dangerous. It is dangerous, but the volcano is so deep down, we should be safe up here. I'm worried about all the animals who live around the volcano. Aye, Captain. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get all the creatures away from the volcano as fast as we can. Dashi, Shellington, keep us informed of the volcano's activity. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Quasi, Peso, into the gup. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap! should see the volcano any second now. Keep your eyes peeled. Look, there it is. <sighs> Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention everyone. This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? <laughs> Faster. Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi, you take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. Uh, aye. Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Ready. Ahoy there, urchin. Let's get you to safety. Oh, thanks. Aha. There's a slimy one. It looks like it could use my help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. stuck to this rock like, well, clams stuck to a rock. Don't worry, if you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Whoa! Another slimy creature that might need our help. 
excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Um. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish, but you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just my tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three Bobcateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, I mean problem. <laughs> It hurts. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There. Good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Got it, Shellington. Let's do one last check and make sure everyone's out. Meet back at the Gup A in three minutes. Yes, Captain. Captain Barnacles to Quasi. Is everyone out of your area? Hi, Captain. All clear. Whoa! Get back to the gup as fast as you can. Peso, is your area clear? Yes, Captain. Oh, no. They're still here. It's Bob, Bob and Bob. Captain, there are three blobfish right over the volcano. We're on our way, Peso. Come on, Quasi. Oh, I'm coming for you, Bob and Bob. But you're so far away. Bob! Peso! We have to get you and your brothers out of here. Oh, I thought I could do it by myself, but the truth is, I have no muscles. I'm all jiggly like a jelly. I can barely move. Don't worry. We're here to help. Shellington to Captain. You should get out of there now. We're on our way. Peso, you take Bob. Quasi, you take Bob. Oh, but, but what about Bob? Bob's with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, tickle, tickle, here. That tickles. Let's go! Good work, Octonauts! Yes, sir, -y, Bob and Bob. It's a good thing the Octonauts got us out of there. I sure am glad to see you both. I would visit more often, but it's just so hard for us blobfish to travel. But look at us now! We're all on holiday together. Hey, thanks, Peso. No blobblin. <laughs> 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 Captain Barnacles to Shellington and Dashie. How's it going up there? Um, 
A bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Almost. Just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast and you won't be able to get back into the, um... back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. Oh, me hearty. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacle's here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures. Wait, please! I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes over. Just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Yes! Way to go! <laughs> yeah! Give him your whiskers! You did it! Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas, this path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. 
If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack, courtesy of Tunic. have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> Oh, 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 my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. It's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, Belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. 